going on Bessie gang ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another episode of black Bessie media on this one we're just going to do a quick simple install of something that you can use on every motorcycle boat rv snowmobile anything with a battery that if you're not going to be using that vehicle or battery for a while you can hook it up to a battery maintainer so this is a battery maintainer, pretty simple system. This is a, uh, I'm not sure, this is my buddy's Dalran Battery Tender Junior. I'm gonna be hooking it up today on his Honda Goldwing. It's a 2021 Goldwing, a newer one. Um, there are a couple of different ways to hook these up. And like I said, a couple of different styles. They pretty much all do the same, same process. They simulate if the battery were to be running on the bike or being used, drained and cycled, so it will charge a battery. And then once the battery is to a good level, like 90, 95%, it'll actually drain the battery a little bit, let it sit drained, and then it'll charge it back up and then repeat this process over time. And it just simulates cycling the battery, which keeps the battery at a healthy level, keeps batteries healthy. Stagnant batteries are not good batteries. So, in this battery maintainer kit that my buddy has, it had, comes with the main battery maintainer, plugs right into the wall or into an extension cable. It's got a port here, universal port. You can use this for a lot of things. Um, comes with this set of cables here, which we will not be using, but it's the typical jumper cable style. Plugs right into the battery maintainer on this end here. Then you got the two leads, negative, positive. Plug that onto the battery, hook it up. That would be nice. But I'm going to do something a little more permanent and a little more universal, and it's hooking up this cable here. So this is what I have installed on my bike, and these this end here is permanently secured down with the battery leads down to the battery. And then this end you can use for hooking up to your battery maintainer, and or when you're not using your battery maintainer, you can use it for what I do on my bike, and I have a USB port that plugs into this here has a relay on it and I ran it up through my gas tank up to my triples and say I'm on a long ride my phone gets low I can hook up my phone start charging my phone if my Cena starts to die I can plug in my Cena if I want to charge a GoPro for a little while charge a GoPro I can do whatever via USB it's very very handy and versatile so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install this onto um, his building you can use this process for uh, pretty much any battery. It's, it's the same across the board. Batteries are very universal, very same. So with this process, you can do it on a car, a boat, RVs, whatever it is that you're hooking it up to. So here in the next clip, we're going to make our way over to the Goldwing, get the battery exposed, and we're going to go ahead and get this cable installed on there. All right, so now we are over to the bike and I have the panel off, battery is exposed. So you wanna, whatever you're going to be installing this on, you wanna get the battery exposed to the point where you can see your negative and positive terminals. So I went ahead, got that done on this Goldwing and now we're going to take our jumper cable here and we're going to connect the negative and positive leads onto the negative and the positive on the battery. Once I do that, I'm going to run this wire real nice and neat somewhere to where I can snap the panel on the gold wing back on. And just the end here will be exposed so I can hook up the battery maintainer. And when he's not using the battery maintainer, you have all of your panels on and nothing showing except this little wire which I'll also try to find a spot where we can tuck it up in there and just use your finger to kind of fish it out whenever you need to use it. But we're going to go ahead and loosen up your screws, nuts, bolts, whatever it is on your battery on the negative and positive. Put these little eyelet leads through the screw nut bolt whatever it is that you have and then secure it back down. Run the wire somewhere nice, 
and that's about it in the next clip we'll be uh we'll have this installed everything secured and fast and nice and the wire routed and i'm gonna plug up the battery maintainer and just show you everything the whole system complete i got everything installed ready to go you can see i got the connection sticking out right over here i went ahead i ran the wire i routed the wires real nice you can't really see them too too much i have it uh all zip tied tucked away over here up underneath the seat and then coming down and around i went down to the main harness that's coming through here the uh, oem harness i undid one of the oem zip ties and i had put this in loop with it Everything's flowing real nice and clean. You can hardly even tell that it's in there. The only thing you see here is just this sticking out. Now I can go ahead, pop this panel back on, cover the battery back up, and you're not going to see anything but this wire sticking out right over here. Pretty simple uh, process. Like I said, I'm on 5%, so I am going to be wrapping up the video here. Um, this install, again, you can do this on anything that has a battery and you believe it is going to be sitting for a while. Um, pretty simple process, like I said, unscrew your nuts, bolts, screws, whatever they are, your negative, your positive, run your wires. I'm gonna end up plugging in this um, controlling module, battery maintainer, I'm sorry, in just a moment, run it to my extension cord and call it a day. It's a pretty simple process and if you guys have any questions, leave comments down below. I'll be more than happy to answer any of your questions. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Black Best Media. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, show some support. I really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. See you next time.